Moving on to question number 11, which is in line with question numbers 9 and 10 and based on the identities that we have discussed earlier. But I would like to draw your attention to a point that this particular question was asked in one of the earlier SSC CGL exams. Let's have a look at it. It says if 2x minus 1 by 2x equals 6, then find the value of x squared plus 1 by 16 x squared. And the given answer options here are 19 by 2, 17 by 2, 15 by 2 and 13 by 2. Well, we all understand the point that x squared plus 1 by x squared can be taken as x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 or it can be taken as x minus 1 by x whole square plus 2. Now the given equation here is in the form of x minus 1 by x, right? Instead of x, we have got 2x, right? So 2x minus 1 by 2x equal to 6. So we should take 2x minus 1 by 2x whole square plus 2 to get x square plus 1 by x square. Now if you observe, what will be x square? It will be 2x square, which is nothing but 4x square plus 1 by 2x square, that is 1 by 4x square. But what is required here is not the same, right? What do we get here? 4x square plus 1 by 4x square. But the requirement is x square plus 1 by 16x square. So directly taking it as, you know, 2x minus 1 by 2x whole square plus 2 will not give us the required answer. We'll have to go in a regular method, right? Instead of directly using the identity, we have to use the actual expansion and see what the answer is, right? So what do we do? Let's see uh, how do we get this particular uh, equation here, right? Or this particular uh, value here, x square plus 1 by 16x square. This can be taken as x squared plus 1 by 4x whole square. We are just trying to understand what are we squaring here to get this two terms, right? x square is directly x square plus 1 by 16x square can be taken as 1 by 4x the whole square, right? 1 by 4x square. So let's try to get that from this equation now. We have 2x minus 1 by 2x equal to 6. Now I want this to be 4x, right? We have 4x in the denominator. So this denominator has to be 4x. So that when we square, we get 16x square. So how can we get that? Divide by 2 or multiply the denominator by 2, which is nothing but dividing the equation by 2. So let's divide the whole equation by 2. See what happens. We get 2x by 2 is equal to x minus 1 by 4x, right? 1 by 2x by 2, 1 by 4x equals to 3. All right, x minus 1 by 4x equals to 3. So now that we have got x minus 1 by 4x equals to 3, let's square on both the sides and see what the required answer is, right? So squaring on both sides, what do we get? x squared plus 1 by 4x squared is nothing but 16x squared minus 2ev minus 2 into x into 1 by 4x equals to 3 squared is 9. And our requirement here is this x squared plus 1 by 16x squared. So x and x and anyway gets cancelled. What are we left with? Minus 2 by 4. Minus 2 by 4 is minus 1 by 2. So we can say that x squared plus 1 by 16x squared equals to 9 plus this minus 2 by 4 goes to the other side becomes plus 2 by 4. 9 plus 2 by 4 or 9 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 9 and a half. Right? 9 and a half. Or since the options are simplified further, we can take it as 19 by 2. So the answer for this question has to be option A, 19 by 2. Right? And the point to be noted here is, even though we get what is x minus 1 by 4x equal to 3, we just cannot take the actual identity. That is, uh, you know, x minus 1 by x whole square plus 2. Because the terms here are not reciprocal of each other. Understand, in all those uh, different identities that we have taken, it was always in the form of x plus 1 by x or x minus 1 by x, which means a and b are reciprocal of each other, right? Or b is the reciprocal of it. But in this case, b, that is the denominator 4x, is not the reciprocal of a, right? a is x, b is 4x. Had this been 4x, 4x minus 1 by 4x, then we can say uh, the identity is applicable. But since these are not in the actual form that is required, we cannot apply the direct formula. We will have to do the actual expansion. Whatever is left out here should be taken to the other side to get the required answer. So be careful, though it looks to be similar, we cannot go with the identity there. We will have to do the expansion and get the required answer. So option A, 19 by 2 is the correct answer for this particular question, which was also an earlier SSC CGL exam paper question.